So, first boss is immune to poison, and it's immune to bleed. So I can't Saber Slash it, and I can't Deadly Brew it. So, those abilities do nothing, which is why we put on Slaughter and Shadow Strike. I think they're gonna change Josh Prime to Mortar Block, so that's not, like, the thing. Midair Vanish plus Shadow Strike effectively cancel the knockback. Yeah, if you time so it don't, properly. don't, um, activate the last stone. Uh, the, my plan is, um, I'm gonna try to focus on the raid during the raid, but then I'll do, like, a, a Q&A session after. Uh, if that's alright with you guys. Let's keep going. We're still getting the second one there. Yeah, we can grab everything. Just, just don't, uh activate the last stone. Actually, that's not a conditional if it's all right with you guys. It's, uh, this is the way it's gonna be. Deal with it. What? This wand is fire, but it shoots arcane animation. Right, so to be clear, we're not clicking this last stone. Yeah, don't click this last stone. Okay. Now everybody jump across here. All right, Dio, blink through this. Move, move a little closer. I did the blink, I don't think it... We just oh, trying wait, to get wait. to maybe the other through, side. Maybe it's through, maybe it's through here. Because I might okay, be able to here. shadow step to one of those no, guys. Come over here. Blink through this. More left. Uh, wait, where? Oh, oh, it's right. It's right here. Blink through this right here. Yeah, yeah, this. Okay. Now go pull that. Uh, that mob. Do we all come back to where you guys are? We can stand right here. It's fine. Just go pull that mob. Just smack. Just smack it. You'll be fine. And so we can pull all of the trash from here to the gauntlet, I believe, using this strategy. So for speed runs, people are doing that. They're pulling literally every trash mob, except for the bosses. And they're just doing boss, 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 boss. So that's how they're getting like 17 minute times. And the logs are still counting? Nice. Yeah, the logs will probably blacklist it soon and Warcraft logs will put trash requirements in, but as it stands, you're allowed to do it. Uh, and so that's why the, the runs are like super short. So are we blasting that strategy today? Or we... No, we're not gonna do it. Uh, it takes fucking forever. I, I don't really care. True. But, um, that's, you gotta click this time. That's the strategy, yeah, let's click this one. Everybody back here, it'll activate the boss. Get off the thing. We gotta run in together. Music's 
music in the background down. Just backpedal awkwardly over just, another corner. Just run it over there. All right, everybody on Boone, full buffs, everything that we need. Hit all your shits. What the? Oh, I like that. that sucked. My well-fed buff. I'm really mad right now. I'm booming. All right, say one. Uh, one sec. All right, uh, we're gonna run in in three, two, one, send it. This guy's a mean avoid plague and I'm really mad. Take him's in the water, please. Both healers are in the water, so be careful. All right, well, that's fine. Island Blade's nice. What are we doing? Are we passing into him at the end or what? Uh, no, we can do it as we go. I'm not trying to speed run this anymore. I don't know about you guys. You, I'm cool with that. I don't really care. Yeah, as long as we're doing like good yeah, fast runs, yeah, I'm yeah, cool with that. that. On the slates, BFD, like there's no point. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's fun to speed around, but I'm not stressed about it. So are we mm -hmm. passing or greeting on this? Greed, need, if you need, whatever. We got luck? I think I'm lucky. Yeah. Wait. Russian won the boss in He greeted it. So. Let's like. Like PvP versus like need. Okay, well then need it. Like you gotta talk about it. Greed is just like whatever. No, it's like you, PvP yeah. versus. I mean, if you want to do it that way, sure. Ball. We we didn't talk about. It. Yeah, he can trade it too. Sure. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Watch the boss. We'll just go straight across. I'm just gonna get the buff on my death. Congrats, Will. Jordy, I realize this might not be a good plan. If I have the tank rune active to taunt. It just giga multiplies all my threat. I mean, I got it. I, we we'll we'll it. single tart. We'll single tank. It'll be fine. Uh, Exos, can you put pet tank uh, the pet taunt rune on? How about you that? want me to not? You want me to not do it? Then? Yeah, I, I want you to done. not tank. I have done anyways. So what do you want me to do? You're just Double such point. a diva, Simon. I go. I can't handle. It. I look. I tried. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll have the pet taunt at some point. Yeah, just let me know when you want me to taunt. It's fine. Sure. All right, we're Is allowed to Simon, why aren't you calling the spell its real name? It's not a taunt. It's a tease. A tease. It's a, it's a tease. <laughs> hey, you, you just gotta little tease the boss a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, <laughs> it's gonna cause the <laughs> issues other times. What? You call it the giant turtle fat. Whenever you really will. Alright, wants to see which dies. I'm going in. Really far. Yeah. Right. Too many bubbles. Go ahead and kill it. The mermaid on. Whoa. Watch your HP. You're not. Oh, oh shit. Exos. God damn it. Got blown up on a couple of them. Bounced around. My bad. Oh no. Crush it. Need to not die Hope on this boots. boss. Vanish. Try not to run. Crusher, will you taunt? Just have him take it. I'm not, I'm Anybody I'm take it. Thinking. Okay, fantastic. Threat drops killer. 
Alright, gonna grab a will. What my HP? What my do? Not the cleanest execution there. I got hit by too many bubbles. Will can take him with that. Save that deadly stack. That was nice. Fantastic. Uh oh. Here's the bubble ability again. Oh, blame Exos. Why did you feign, bro? <laughs> I wish. I hit one bubble there like blast me on three oh, more Oh, chippy, chippy. Clam weave, nice. Clam weave. Uh, I'm mostly looking for the sword on this character. I don't know if anyone else wants a dagger. I would use it for PvP. Does anyone else really want the dagger? I mean, if he does anything, what do you just need? Fuck it, I don't really care. Probably playing sword man I I have need on it. You can work it out. Fuck me when you can. Yeah, both of the, the rugs are the only ones who wanted it, and uh we both just wanna play swords. This bleed is significant. Oh yeah, it hurts. All right, a little chippy. All right, go straight across to the beach. No, oh, I didn't loot Baron Aquinas on this character. I already got that. Anybody got any fun Christmas plans? Nobody. Got time off work. Oh, I got, I, I got Christmas wild, plans. Yeah. Sitting in my house playing WoW. Okay. <laughs> Exactly. I'm doing the opposite of that. Well, like 10 years ago, I figured this out. It's way, it's way too much work to go buy each of my family members a present, right? It's just too much. So yeah. what I do instead is I take my whole family out to dinner. We pick a restaurant nice. in time that works there and I, I pay the bill and that's, you know, my gift to everyone else. And it's very easy for me and everyone likes it. That's good, that's yeah, efficient like too. Efficient, yes. Do you That's bring what hats I... for everybody? Do I what? Bring hats for everybody? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's impolite to wear a hat inside the restaurant. You know, you, you walk in, you gotta take it off, okay? That's fair, that's fair. Not enough hands. This is the tower. Uh, we'll take both. Uh, just drag it off the patch. That's what to do. You got this will be on it too. Actually, uh, you can't actually tank Lady Service. Really? She just doesn't care? Yeah, she kind of just runs over, over all over the place. Yeah. Uh, Hannes, come on, man. You know what? Oh, you f oh, what a Chad! What a Chad! Ignore me, Hannes. I'll never tell you what to do again. Dude, this mouse shit's pissing me off. I keep untargeting the boss and I lose all my combo points. So mad, right? Movement is not good. All right. That a good. Ah, the Ooh. Artemis Cowl. What's that? You know, for this fight, all my leash is about to be on this. Does it prevent the freezing? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Cause yeah, I got I got effed up because like, you know, you lose uptime moving out of the thing. If I could just fap and ignore it, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, the the cow's the one that's like uh, it's an upgrade for me, but it's not this. I'd rather have the set thing. So who else is interested in that? Yeah, exact same, same for just about everybody. I'll, I mean, I'll take it for DPS uh, if no one wants it. We're going straight across. Hang on, some of y'all are really quiet. I gotta change the volume. Sounds like we're all in the same boat on the Artemis call. I'll, I will need roll it, and uh, we will. I would just not equip it. We will. Uh, we 
can we can like work it out at the end. So I'm going to Colorado for two weeks. At oh, the in-laws. What's in Colorado? The in just the in-laws. The in-laws uh, cabin in the mountains. I, mean, I say cabin with almost sarcasm because it's like a mansion with a movie theater and shit. But uh, Very nice. so yeah, the Keystone Mountains, Keystone. Oh yeah, I'll just in say. the mountains. Yeah. So. I kind of sit in the movie theater for two weeks and catch up on all the TV and movies I missed throughout the year. I'm, I'm like a former fat kid, so I never really learned to ski or snowboard pretty well. And I say former, I'm like heading back to that direction right now. But, uh, I should really learn, but I just never did. Um, you know, you sit by the campfire, the, or the, 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 not campfire, whatever, the hearth, and, uh, drink hot chocolate's great. Sounds like a time. It is a good time. Alright. Fireplace. What, what, you, uh, what shows are you looking forward to watching? Do you already have, like, a list going? I don't have a list. Um, I should make a list. I've been watching, um... Monarch Legacy of Monsters on Apple lately, which is fun. Uh, but there's like a bunch of stuff I missed and I can't think of it off the top of my head. But I just watched uh, Leave the World Behind. Did anybody see that? It's great. I did, but the ending was still bad. I was looking for it wasn't like, that bad. Come uh, on. I was looking for something a bit more like this junk kid, like some. Yeah, they didn't really jump the shark too much at the end, but... Iced. <laughs> Alright, the plan is... Basically, all the leather DPS were... I usually were... go sledding. Hang on. It's fun. Mute them. All the leather DPS were in the same position as me, where, like... This thing is a big upgrade for each of us, but it's none of our biz. We'd all rather have the set helm. So... We just roll on this, and if I don't get the, or if I do get the set helm, then I'll just roll the Artemis, you know, give the Artemis call to someone else. Oh my god, these, uh, these immobilizers are so troll. No weapon drop from, um, uh, um, Cerevest. That's correct. This is probably a bad idea. In fact, no I know way. it's a bad I'm definitely Dude. dead. Did any of y'all watch, like, Blue Mountain State? I'm dead. I didn't. There goes, there goes my robot. It's That's the Reacher guy, right? And he's just like a total dickhead in that. Well, in, in the United yeah. Alright, Jordy, you ready? Runes One are second. correct. Let me just finish drinking. Gears correct. Okay, we're good. Alright, send it. One, two, three, this will tee. Thank you, sir. Five, slice. I don't know if that slice is even good. Probably not. It should just be straight in venoms. I said this last time we did this. I forgot. Oh god, now I really effed myself. 
too Love many. Uh, no, I didn't really screw myself because he's in a damage mitigation phase, anyways. The one thing is, I do wish you could do damage to him if you wanted to like greet it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like you're you're in the thick of things, but you're doing damage. Yeah, exactly. That would like you were incentivized to like take more risks. Attacking to keep the deadly stack on. That was a lucky refresh right at the end. Shibuya. Shibuya the fuck out of it. You guys ever been to Japan? Oh, but I think that's my next vacation spot I want to go to. I went in October. I went in September. Ooh. It was amazing. Ooh. Wait, that's the wrong oh, one. Neck for your psycho. That's the caster one. It's the same. Dude, we haven't got a single bag. Oh, close. Wait, isn't Shibuya with Nandar? The... Shibuya Crossing is like the. Oh no, that's that's Tokyo. The the. Yeah, it's like that yeah, that, that big, big intersection big where just a gajillion people are. All right, next boss. Lorgus can drop it. Lorgus can drop it. It's true. All right, so then. Just ignore the elite. Kill the priestess. We'll cleave the elite as we go. Last priestess. Last I want to have full energy when this thing dies. I don't want to be low energy. Could actually crack a slice, and that would be good too. Uh oh, I don't have vanish. I have to be careful. I'm a threat. Lightning shield in three. Stop attacking. Kill the totem. Very good. Drops deadly. Happens. Dodge the boulder. Still up attacking. That's the total one. There we go. Yeah, kind of bad RNG on the poisons this time. Not looking so good. Be a little cleaner with the target swaps. There you go. Oh, you already have it, don't you? Fist of the Wild. I need something. Invoker shoes. You have it, yeah? Yeah, I do. I oh, it. Has it. If anybody else wants the, the maze, go for it. I'm gonna need the boots. Yeah. I'm not tailored. Uh, we, we could do a whole bunch of questions after the raid, so please. Hold your questions till after the presentation. There will be a questions and answers section after I'm done pumping. I don't know if any of the other bosses can drop the helmet. 
Can, um, can Calrus drop it? I don't know. Two-piece. No dog summoned this time, so don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, access make sure you uh dismiss yep, pet. Dismiss pet. Hold on. Hug the right here, try not to pull the middle. And then see if Exos learned how to jump up the wall. Yeah, I'll see. Oh go! Easy. Pull one pack, but that's fine. Slide of sight here. Dynamite? Yeah. <laughs> Good sir. Oh, three pack. Crazy that this took two and a half hours the first time, and now it's taking half an hour. It's kind of sad. I wish there was more. You're, you, you, could, know it's got, cool. you could just make it take an hour if we pre pull all somewhere. the trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you pet, somewhere. Your pet, yes. pet. Yep, I'm pulling him back, pulling him back. You go, you pull yeah, more no yeah, I'm off. He's bringing someone. Hunter fail. <laughs> Tales a old classic time. real fun card. Tale as old as time. He was going for that crab. He wanted it. Who else rolled on the cowl? Let me see. Oh, me and Crushin. Okay. We've gotten a lot of the set helmets in this group, though. Oh? No. Doomspike. It's a green roll. Uh, all greed, I guess? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, like, particular. So you're gonna equip it. Congrats, me, boys. Does it sell for a lot? I don't know. Probably not, right? Aren't, uh, the short weapon speed daggers good for a lot of times? Isn't there like an armor one? Cheers. Twenty two gold. Not bad. Well, I'll take it. That's that's uh, it's, uh, it's been seen there. Well, I don't think yeah, I don't think you're gonna sort this for that much, honestly. I think those are on the option. Don't say that to me. Say it's five hundred gold and I'm rich as fuck. That that is what I need to hear. I'll live in my fantasy. How many gold do you have right now? 40. I spent, I spent a bunch of gold on my mage to get it ready for that speed run. And then we came in second because somebody Wait. decided to pull a bunch of shit. You got a refort? Yeah, I'm working on it. Thank you. Those might be good. Stam. Uh, what's the um, go down order? Uh, it'll be me and Diogera, yeah. and then Hannes and Simon, and then we shouldn't get another set. Okay. I will get first kick. And then we're just trying to kick a bunch of shit. I got Mark of the Wild on uh, the pet too, when Serpent. Sharp zone off end. Good, good tip. Good tip. I pet to a new space. No problem. Good, 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 good. And we got shadow potions for phase two. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Head in. 
Oh, I gotta get there. Oh! I made it. I'm pulling the right, dear Gary. Soon. There we go. Big damn. Move left, guys. Big left. Try to get those chains interrupted. Some people are gonna get sent down, but it's fine. Phasing, they're back up. Spread out range. Got a potion time. That pot. Not slicing here because he's not going to live 30 seconds, I don't think. Watch your position. Is he getting sent down? Ruin my threat. Okay. This should be. I didn't know it wiped the interest. 6k. Oh boy. The stuff. I call it on the stuff. How could you? How could you do that? What, does it always like, drop three items? I don't think so. I don't think I've seen it drop three uh, before. Thank you. The about fetish, thinking. I guess, is a typo. It's supposed to say twenty, I think, right? But... <laughs> Two. Yikes. It's it's like a, thing to... Don't you ever, ever do that again. <laughs> Sorry, Wolf. Jinx. Got Psycho. Congrats. Will's geared as fuck now. Sorry. It's okay. I feel like if you're a tank, you just get fed gear at this point. Yeah, especially if you're, like, basically the only male user. Yeah. Oh, horde side. Not the pile. I, I just hit all four torches. Let's have fun. Increases damage of your imp's firebolt spell by right. two. You mean the mage gets the Pokemon? What are you talking about? That's a boggling root, but it takes a trinket Ooh, slot. Wally. That's basically what we're talking about. This has been a fun, uh, reliable group, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Lots yeah, it's good stuff. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna have excess pet taunt at some point. All right, yeah, it's called up. Uh, do you want to just not cleanse, or you want to just cleanse the three? Yeah, like we won't cleanse. Doing? Okay. I think I think you uh, were right there. Let's see how it goes. See anything we want to do? Cleanse real quick then. I don't think so. Do you want a fort uh, elixir? Oh, you have one. Okay. Yeah. The heck. Broccolis stew, that's juice. Thanks, man. Alright. Ready? All right. Don't get it by the breath. Let's go. Canis has threat. That's okay. I need rage. Canis took two. Should be fine. Press a blast move. Anis is three. All right, Anis, this is gonna get a bit spicy for me. We'll be fine. Press a blast any second, get ready. Move, move, move. All right, we are about to fade. It's 
phasing. You do not need to press any buttons here. Although I really wish that deadly didn't drop. I'm gonna start with Damn. a big slice. Those got it good. Deadly. Last stand lasts forever. Hell yeah, man. Void 20 blast? seconds. Take the whole phase two. Alright, he's about to take a bunch of damage. Just dump those penances. Yeah, <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Our damage is just so much higher than it was. Yo, oh, no, there no, it no. is! Huge! Damn. That's the first Epic Will. our group saw, I think, right? Yeah, it is. Crushin yeah. and Will, Huge. good luck, you guys. I feel like Already dying. Kind of want to just give it to Crushin. Yeah, Up to you, man. <laughs> I mean, he's the, he's he's the like, arms work. Please, please! <laughs> that was a really okay, unlucky deadly in the second half. That's I will the deal. Fit right away, right now. I mean, I, he doesn't really have an option, right? Grats crushing. Oh, shit. Big pog, dude. What a cool looking sword, too. Okay, we got a hood now. This is big. That's <gasps> Psycho on the trinket. Oh, big. Oh. Alright. Uh, uh, that was a pretty successful little evening we just had. Nice yeah, that was good. Thank you. Well, do we have a plan for the next raid? We were talking about that at the start. Um... You guys want to do Saturday? Simon, do you know how to make a sign up? I do not know how to make a sign up. I prefer Friday, but I, I can make a Saturday happen, I guess. Well, when's um, the next blackout? We have a little time, right? It's start, it resets tomorrow, so you could do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. I mean, I don't mind doing it tomorrow. Like, if you can do it at six, I don't mind it. I can't do six, I can do five or four. I prefer four. I mean, honest. I know, I know other people can. So let's do four and see what we can what we can get. I'm gonna make this sign up right now. That's four EST tomorrow, and yeah, somewhat tentative. Like it's assuming we can get people or what? <laughs> Whatever, we'll work it out. Yeah, I'll be out for that one, but I'll catch up with you guys on the next one. I'll, I'll find you okay. for the next one. Good time to go. Uh, if I don't see you guys, um, have a lovely Christmas, and I'll see you yeah, around everybody. the New Year. Well, Jordy, Merry thank Christmas. you for raid leading. I'm Jordy. Yeah. I'm it's posting the good. create, or posting the, the thing right now. Simon's going to take over raid leading or whatever while I'm gone, if you guys want to just... You guys in for a wild ride with Simon raid leading. Raid leading. Okay. Uh, I don't do this often. I mean, everyone kind of knows what to do at this point. It's basically just getting together and organizing it. Oh, my heart's on cooldown. Oh, put your buffs back in the bottle if you forgot, like me. Sitting around, wasted probably five minutes of those. I know, I'm so bummed I lost the MF. Isn't I'm like a... fixing the time. Okay. We got an Artemis call. I'm gonna turn off their their comms. Artemis Cowl. And we got the chippy. Where's the chippy? Where's the chip chipped bite? We're gonna have to do some we're gonna have to do some PvP now, okay? This is gonna this is gonna wreck compared to this dagger. Look at that. Six on the low end, twelve on the high end. So that's a average damage gain of nine. And then you run it through the backstab multipliers, and it's probably like an average damage gain of thirty. And it's got a stupid poison proc that doesn't do anything. But that's basically the same as Meteor Shard that has a stupid fire proc that doesn't do anything. But this is big. That's a lot of attack power on the Artemis Cowl. 
24, and that's going from no stats, uh, other than style. Now, okay, that's that's like such a huge upgrade. This character can probably solo Van Cleef now. We got Outlaw Saber, we got this. We got quite a few upgrades compared to my other rogue. This one in particular. Maybe Jack, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for five oh, months of support. I appreciate that. Uh, now, like I said, uh, I didn't want to, like, answer a lot of questions during the raid. Wanted to focus on my pump. If you got questions about anything that happened in the raid, now's your chance. Um, let me, let me see if I can scroll up and chat. Let's see if I see any. Denali asks, would the proc mess up CC, blind slash gouge? Well, uh, if we had blind at this level, yes, the proc could mess that up. Um, but... My strategy in PvP has largely just been kill people, and when they're dead, it doesn't matter if they're CC'd. Why do you invent them over slice and dice sometimes? Okay, so most of the finishing moves are just like really similar in how much damage you get out of them. Um, you know, slice and dice with improved slice and dice talent, invenom when you have five deadly stacks, and rupture when you have mangle from a feral druid all all those finishing moves if you get you know full value out of them you um you know mob lives long enough for rupture to deal its full damage or you know you attack a target for 30 seconds straight to get full value out of slice and dice most of those are pretty similar in value and slice and dice is just like a little bit ahead uh when you can get full value out of it so I do not want to overwrite an old slice and dice because that's effectively wasting duration from before. And I do not want to cast a slice and dice if I do not think I'm going to be attacking um, for the next 30 seconds straight, right? Because I wouldn't be getting full value. So normally it looks like a opener of you know, saber, 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 thistle t, saber, saber, five point slice. Because at the at the start of the boss, I'm I'm very likely to continue attacking for the next thirty seconds. But when it gets towards the end of the boss, and I don't think it's going to live for thirty more seconds, I'm not going to press a slice and dice. Except on the turtle boy, right? The turtle boy crit Cobain is different. The turtle boy has ridiculously high armor, so he has really high physical mitigation. And that makes Slice and Dice suck, because the primary thing Slice and Dice does is boost your auto attack damage. And if your auto attack damage is nerfed by like 40% or whatever from his armor, well then Slice and Dice ain't too good. Because, uh, you know, Invenom and Rupture do not care about auto attack or sorry, yeah, do not care about the target's armor. So, like, they, they're, they're still going to do the same damage on Gamura, and that's totally fine. Federino, good question. Thought Sinister was more damage. Yeah. So sometimes during the, the raid, I was pressing a Sinister Strike instead of a Saber Slash. But this is this is really, really a sweaty minor optimization. If you if you don't want to think about doing that, don't think about doing that and just mash your saber button. I try to give the simple advice usually and explain with a lot of caveats like this that Holy shit, it doesn't actually matter if you want to try to Sinister Strike instead. Um, so Sinister Strike and Saber Slash calculate their instant damage a little bit differently than each other. I wonder if I could solo that. 2.6 thousand health? I bet I could. Um, they calculate their instant weapon damage a little bit differently. And essentially Sinister Strike with our gear sets you know, roughly how they are in our weapons. Sinister Strike's gonna come out to be maybe three to seven more damage than Saber Slash. Three to seven. Before armor mitigation. Um, so if you want to really min-max, you, you have three stacks of Saber Slash active already. 
and then you're like, okay, well, I've got 11 seconds left on my Saber Slash. It's already stacked to three. I'm going to hit a Sinister Strike instead of hitting another Saber. Uh, and congratulations, you just won yourself six damage, maybe five damage um, uh, for doing that. The downside to that is if you fuck up or perhaps, you know, you get you, you towards the end of your Saber Slash duration and you, you're like, okay, time to refresh Saber Slash. And then the Saber Slash dodges or it misses because you're not hit capped. And then you drop your Saber Slash slacks. Saber Slash stacks. Oh boy, if you dropped your Saber Slash stacks because you were trying, because you, you know, didn't pay attention or got slightly unlucky. Ooh, you fucked up. You fucked up real bad and lost a huge amount of damage from dropping those stacks. Um, which is why I generally, you know, for such a minor game done properly with such a big downside if you screw it up, that's why I usually just don't, uh, don't recommend that or talk about that. Can builders proc wind fury? Is that why you want to press them after an auto attack hit? Yes. Uh, your abilities, if you have uh, Wild Strikes, aka Wind Fury, in your main hand, uh, using an ability can trigger uh, the Wind Fury extra attack. And when that happens, it resets the swing timer on your main hand swing to be its full uh, maximum possible duration. So the longest possible time until the next auto attack happens. So if that happens when the next auto attack was going to happen in the next like 0.1 seconds and you press an ability and it triggers wind fury and resets that 0.1 up to a 2.7 you kind of lose some value um so this is another thing that's pretty minor and frankly kind of annoying to pay attention to um but if you get install a swing timer add-on that monitors like the time remaining on your auto attack swing you can press your abilities immediately after an auto attack main hand auto attack lands and then if that ability procs a wind fury it's not going to incur as big of a penalty to your auto attack damage compared to just pressing them randomly or whenever you feel like it does offhand auto attack timer matter at all no no there's, there's no real mechanic that interacts with that at all that I'm aware of. Be able to Hearthstone now. That's pretty good. Pretty good raid. We got the Chippy and we got the Artemis Cowl. So that's good. I got ganked while you were talking about this. When is Sinister more value? It's, it's honestly, it's the kind of thing where you just don't have to worry about it. And if you, if you want to go reread the explanation, the explanation is on Discord. Poison proc chance. Shiv, maybe. No, none of the poison proc chance doesn't have to do anything to do with monitoring your auto attack timer. Uh, having a faster offhand weapon does mean you are going to get more instant poison procs and thus more deadly procs because that's how deadly brew works. Um, so yeah, faster weapons are generally better, but the, the question before was about, is there anything relevant to monitor the timing, you know, like when your next offhand auto is going to happen? And the, the answer to that is no. Uh, if you use shiv, yeah, faster offhand reduces the energy cost of shiv. So that is nice. I do think it adds another layer to rug that wasn't there in classic. That feels good to try to manage. I uh, talk about the, yeah, I mean, there, there's a couple like minor optimizations, like the wind fury timing and the, the weaving of saber slashes. And like, if you want to do that, great. But those types of things, they're, they're so small in your damage outcome that if you make like literally any other mistake because you were paying attention to that, you, you've screwed yourself. <laughs> would mutilate reset offhand swing timer? Not that anyone would ever want to monitor that. Uh, no, you're, 
your abilities themselves do not reset your swing timers. The thing that's happening that's resetting your main hand swing timer is when your ability triggers a Wind Fury extra attack. That's what's resetting your swing timer. Um, so all, all the other things, you just they, they just happen and it's fine. I'm pretty happy about this. I mean, let's be real. We'd rather it be a Twilight Slayer's Cowl, but this is a seven agility, six stamina, 24 attack power upgrade over what I had before. Uh, style points, L though. Um, style points, definitely an L because, um, dude, Red Defias Mask. I think we gotta go disabling show helm, honestly. There we go. That's the true, that's the true Simonizer hairstyle appearance. Dank SSBB says that run was probably the first run I've ever seen where the leather melee head didn't drop. Yeah, in that group, this is the, first, the fifth run we've done with that group. And um, we have a lot of Twilight Slayers cowls. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, to the sound of it is uh, we're going to have a back to back raid day tomorrow. That's going to be hype. Who rates? And then I'm gonna be off Saturday, Sunday. Build a bunch, make a bunch of YouTube videos. It's better as a single helm, yes. Uh, outside of the set bonuses, this is stronger than the the set one. But like, we already have Slayer's tunic that that would make the the tier helm better. So like, we already have another piece of the set to provide the set bonus to make make the tier helm better so sweet i really want to i really want to go back to van cleef and, and just just dunk on him with a rogue that has uh better gear than the one i was working on earlier uh before the raid we went over to van cleef on my orc rogue who is not as geared as this one uh, a couple items behind um and i went in and i was able to solo van cleef first try i killed him easily and I was like, okay, this is cool. Let me just do this a couple more times. And then I went in and I tried seven more times after easily killing him the first time. Seven more times, couldn't kill him. <laughs> and, I, and I realized that, uh, man, I must have got like very lucky or something. I don't know. I must have got really lucky that first attempt, like quick deadly poison applications. Uh, a lot of repost procs, lucky crits, something like that. I, I don't know, but <laughs> I killed him easily once and then seven times I was, you know, wiping, you know, having to vanish because I was, you know, one hit from death at like 10 to 20% boss health. Yeah, the other character was using Cruel Barb. This guy's using Outlaw Saber. I've got this that's better. This is a better item. This is new and that's better i've got the pearl yeah quite a few but we'd have to respec to make that happen and we're we're double raiding tomorrow so we'll stay raid spec for now what rings are you rolling on main this is my main and i actually have the same rings on both characters now band of the iron fist comes from uh that's horde only quest in black fathom deeps and legionnaire's band which is honored with your warsong gulch faction Uh, I am excited. Let's see. Tomorrow we'll, we'll raid, raid, and then I'll respec this guy for PvP. And we'll go around causing trouble with Chipped Bite of Seracus. Doing biggie backstabs. Why is Sinister Simming higher than Saber Slash? Which is because of how they calculate their damage. Um, they're just, they're different abilities. Um... Sinister Strike 
is what's called a normalized weapon attack, which means it calculates how much damage your attack power adds to the attack based on a fixed value of 2.4. Um, and that is different than, sorry, 2.4 as if 2.4 was your weapon speed. Uh, so it doesn't care what your actual weapon speed is. It always just uses the value 2.4. That's what the normalization is, normalized to 2.4. Um, whereas Saber Slash is a non-normalized attack. And that means it calculates how much damage attack power adds to the ability based on your weapon's actual speed. So in this case, 2.7. So a slower weapon means you gain more damage per point of attack power um, with a non-normalized attack. And a slower weapon does not affect how much damage your attack power adds for a normalized attack. So like Saber Slash is non-normalized and Sinister Strike is normalized and it works out to with most typical gear sets and weapons we're dealing with right now just works out to Sinister Strike being like three to maybe seven damage before armor reduction, which is really, whew, really not very big of a difference. <laughs> Uh, people, I just, I have to emphasize that every time. Every time people ask about these, these like, personally, I think stupid, just, just completely stupidly, like, ridiculous optimizations. Like, you gotta keep in mind, <laughs> doing this or not doing this, mm, really is not what's making or breaking your damage output. <laughs> Any spot suggestions for gold making with skinning slash pickpocketing slash mob grinding running on fumes here? Um, I make most of my money farming the auction house. Um, I do a couple different things. Uh, so I don't go out and farm things typically. Uh, when I got max level on my first character, I went and I did a bunch of quests because quests at max level give you one to two gold apiece. It's pretty great. So get a little bit of money with that. Then I went and I learned mining, and I saw that I could buy copper ore for less than the price of copper bars. So I just bought up as much copper ore as I could, smelted it into bars, and resold it at a profit, simultaneously skilling up my mining. And then I did the same thing with tin, bronze, silver, and iron. Um, there's all just a small profit margin on all of these. Uh, well, typically. That, that's not literally always true, but did that so you buy sell buy sell buy sell and then with cooking I can do the same thing thistle tea usually swift thistle costs less than thistle tea so I can buy up swift thistles craft thistle teas and sell them easy peasy and then uh, I found out I can do the same thing with enchanting I can get enchanting I can I can buy up sheep greens on the auction house and resell the um, enchanting mats that come from them at, at, you know, on average a profit. Like usually like when you get the dust outcome from disenchanting, like you lose a little bit of money. But then when you get the essence outcome, like magic essence or astral essence, you profit significantly. And on average, you make some money doing that if you're buying at the right prices for whatever the prices are on your server. Uh, okay, so I did some of that. Buying out greens on the auction house, disenchanting them. Then I figured out, why am I relying on other people to supply these greens? I can do even better. And I got myself leather working on one of my characters to craft greens that I can then disenchant. Um, and this is, this is the final form of Simonize gold making strategy. How many shekels have you collected? Um, well, I was up to about 200 gold at one point, a little over 200. Uh, but right now what I've done is I have simply accumulated a shitload of materials and I plan to try to sell as much of my astral essences as I can on Friday, which is the raid reset day, because I expect, wow, I'm getting really lucky here. 
astral, astral glimmering shard, I expect the price of enchanting materials to go way up, uh, or at least increase somewhat on the raid reset day when everyone's going into the raid, doing the raid, getting some loot, and then wanting to get it enchanted. How much of them essences you got? Um, like about, um, hang on, let me, let's see, 21 graders in my inventory right now, 30 graders plus 15 lessers, that's five graders, so that's, that's 35 in the mailbox plus 21 is 56. Oh, I thought I had put some into the bank. I guess I didn't. Uh, yeah, so I have around 56 greater, uh, greater astrals right now. And um, I expect I will be able to get over a gold. If the price goes to a similar level it was on the last raid reset day, um, those are going to be over a gold apiece. Um, and, you know, we have a, a couple hundred soul dust and numerous large glimmering shards as well. Uh, so leatherworking isn't the only way you can do this. It's just the way I chose to do it. Um, I assume tailoring has cheap to craft greens you could do this with also. I assume blacksmithing also has, uh cheap to craft greens that you could just craft to disenchant. Um, and yeah, you don't have to have enchanting. Like, all these things we're crafting, they are BOE. You can just send them. If you have a level 5 character, you can give them enchanting and be able to disenchant whatever you want. So my whole game is just churning stuff on the auction house. Figure out how I can buy things, change them with my professions, and sell them for more. Uh, if you're going to try to do the disenchant game, what I would recommend is you get the add-on Auctionator. Uh, Auctionator uh, has a function that allows me to calculate the average disenchant value. So I go to the auction house and I look up all the different enchanting mats. Soul Dust is at 6. Large Glimmering Shard is at 47. Lesser Astral is at 18. Greater Astral is at 55. That's all the enchanting mats that this can disenchant into. And now it has a accurate uh, average disenchant value displayed in the tooltip. And that's done by the Auctionator add-on, uh, which is linked on, or it, it, it's mentioned in the add-ons section on the Discord, or you could just fucking search CurseForge for Auctionator, whatever, it's not that hard. Um, you need to be sure that you have like a comfortable margin between how much you're paying to obtain a green item, either from buying it on the auction house or crafting it. Like if it's a one silver margin, you're probably wasting your time. You, you want to see a larger margin than that for all the effort of buying, clicking, disenchanting, relisting, whatever. Um, so you, you want to have a comfortable margin to, um, you know, make a profit. Um, but yeah, generally, like, you don't have to copy the exact things I'm doing. The general idea is just be able to buy something off the auction house, change it with your professions, and relist it for a profit. Like, frankly, alchemy is probably the easiest way to do this because everyone wants raid consumables and everyone always needs more raid consumables. With like enchanting mats, you know, they get an item, they enchant it, they're done. They're not gonna need to enchant another helmet or whatever. Um, but you need raid consumables every single week. Like, frankly, if, uh, I think, uh, Alchemy is probably the way to go if you really want a profession that can just generate money. You know, buy herbs off the auction house, 
relist them for prop you know craft them into a desirable potion relist them for profit and especially with the raid consumables relist them during the during the prime play hours on your server you know the raid times on your server where the majority of players are active and raiding because most people do not plan ahead they're like oh shit it's bfd time let me run to the auction house buy out all the consumables i need at an inflated mark price because the demand has spiked you know over this four hour period um yeah if if you can sell stuff during you know the 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 raid time that happens on your server that's my advice all right 